Disney has officially revealed a trio of villains heading to Disney Infinity 2.0 later this year. You'll be able to grab Guardians of the Galaxy's Ronin, Spider-Man's Green Goblin, and the Avengers Loki as they launch alongside Disney Infinity Marvel superheroes. It's good to be bad. Activision has released a new trailer detailing the backstory of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. The trailer has everything. Quotes from Lincoln, private military corporations with no restrictions, huge battles and crazy looking tanks, and of course, Kevin Spacey mad with power. The most interesting tidbit came at the trailer's conclusion. A multiplayer world premiere is coming August 11th, so check out the trailer for yourself while you wait. Another trailer was also released, this time by Ubisoft, and centered around a new character in Assassin's Creed Unity, and she's not an assassin. Her name is Elise, and she's a young Templar who Arno saves from the guillotine. Ubisoft says that she is a character central to Assassin's Creed Unity's story. Elise is determined to secure her place in the Templar dynasty amidst the chaos of the French Revolution. Her quest leads her to cross paths with Arno and establish an unlikely bond with him. Could we have a love story in the iteration of Assassin's Creed? And more importantly, will there be Les Miserables style singing. Ooh. The 1.75 update has arrived for the PlayStation 4. This new update for the console will feature the ability to now play 3D Blu-ray films. While this marks the first time new features have arrived on the console since the Share Factory in April, it's possible this addition may be due to Microsoft's similar confirmation that 3D Blu-ray support is coming to the Xbox One as well. If you're suffering from Destiny withdrawal after the beta, I have some news that might interest you. According to reports on Reddit, users have data mined the beta and discovered a possible list of content that may be in the full game. There's a chance that this unconfirmed info is outdated, so don't get all crazy on me. The list includes 11 multiplayer maps, 32 story missions, and 15 unique strike missions, and you can follow the link below for more information. Last night, Naughty Dog's The Last of Us was performed live in Los Angeles for a one-night-only performance. The performance included a live reading of select scenes by principal actors under the direction of Neil Druckmann, with music selections from the game's score. If you happen to have missed this wonderful occasion, we've got you covered. Just follow the link to catch the encore and be prepared for awesomeness. And that's your fix for July 29th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online at IGN.